Okay, welcome back to another episode of Barbie's World. So, a couple of changes since the last episode. The last episode we just focused on Skipper, but now we have got two toddlers. Teresa also has two toddlers and she's engaged. So I'm thinking this episode we are going to go out. We're going to invite Teresa and her twins. We're going to take our twins to the toddler park. We're just going to do some bonding. It's going to be a great time. Just have a bit of family fun because later on we're going to throw a bachelorette party for Teresa because I'm, I'm going to try and get her married tomorrow. So that's the plan. That's the plan for today. Just have some family time and then we're going to throw a messy bachelorette party. We'll go to this little toddler park. Oh, I see Barbie decided not to get changed out of her bikini in a toddler park. Okay, I mean, I get, that's cool, I guess. There we go. We've got all the kiddies here. Stacy's turned up for some reason. So I think uh, let's just let the kids play. And Teresa, I have got a little present for you, my friend. Give gift. That's right. I rustled up some Sims Mapolitans before heading out. So that while the kids play, the mums can get a bit boozy. Have a liquid lunch. There you go. That's for you. You can enjoy that. Although it appears I have also given Teresa my Sims Mapolitan because Barbie made two cocktails, so I guess it's kind of ruined it for everybody. Never mind. We can still have a, a catch up anyway, can't we? Stop crying. Woman up, woman up. So, Teresa, how's motherhood treating you? You've been hands on, or I tend to let Ken take care of most of the uh, the childcare. It just works for us, you know. It just works for us. Are you flirting with me right now? Fluttering her eyelashes. I think we should encourage her to come out. The way you're looking at me, you're like you're like Mitch, you little flirt. I still can't believe they both had twins. What are the chances? Well, this is nice, isn't it? Just spending some quality time with the kids, with the family. Cute kid. Cute kid. So, Teresa, has Cole got round to the idea of having kids yet? Or does he still regret the day he met you and got you knocked up? No, it's good that she's a good mum. It's good. Not jealous at all. I think it's great. It's great. Aww. See, Barbie's quite a good mum as well. She's getting involved. She's playing Barbies. Typical, though, that the only way she can get involved with her kids is doing something that involves her living out her life through the dolls. God, Barbie, you're so fucking self-centred. Is she telling her kid a story? No, maybe she's telling the kid off. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's explaining the meaning of life, I guess. And that's how she's left things. Yeah, that's right, Barbie. Just turn your back. <laughs> oh, funny. I can't wait till the kids approach um, adolescence and then Barbie tries to explain what puberty is. I feel like that would be a very comical conversation. Is it lunchtime yet? I'm getting a bit hungry. Oh, well, we've got barbecue over here, so... And Skipper's not around to cook for... Oh, actually, we could invite Skipper... Nah, we're going to leave soon anyway. We'll invite Skipper to the bachelorette party. Why don't you make some grilled fruit? There we go. That'd be good for the kids. It'd be healthy. Is that is the kid doing homework? You've come to the park to play and you're sat there doing homework. I mean, I'm proud of you, but God, you're a fucking square. Barbie, you need to instill some of your rebelliousness into your family. Mm -hmm. I think maybe Barbie's family are just real good eggs because of <laughs> how much they've seen Barbie's life on the rails. You know, she's kind of been a good example of what not to do, how not to treat people. All right, everyone, food's up. Grab a plate. That's right, grab a plate. That's right. There you go, twins. Eat your fruit. Where's the other one? Oh, she's trying to climb up on the bench. Is that good? You enjoying that? You enjoying yourself? Really make the most of this time you have with your mother because this is not going to happen very often. I mean, I know because I'm God, so I can tell you that much for free. All right, well, time's getting on. It's uh, Stacy's return from school. No, she hasn't. Time is getting on. It's half past three. I'm kind of thinking what sort of time should I plan to do this bachelorette party? Because we do need a stripper, so we need to allow enough time to get a lap dance. I'm thinking 
We've all had a nice time. It's been wonderful. Let's cut this short now. We'll go home and then Barbie can start to plan the bachelorette party. It's when things are going to start getting real, getting serious. Barbie, go home. Don't just stand there. Go home. Teresa's already left. I didn't even notice. She didn't even say bye. God, what a bitch. All right, it's time to plan this bachelorette party. Plan a social event. Don't worry about the kids, they'll be fine. Ken can watch them. Ken, watch the kids. Has our power been shut off again? Oh, here we go, bachelorette party. Oh, damn, Barbie can't throw it because she's not engaged. Well, that's okay because Teresa is gonna stay at Barbie's house tonight anyway because it's the night before her wedding, so we don't want her seeing Cole. So I'm just gonna invite her round, add her to the family, and then she can throw the bachelorette party. Easy as that. Okay, here she is. Good job, Ken. <laughs> I love how he just kisses Barbie just as Teresa arrives. Just to prove, you know, we are happy. Okay, so Teresa, you can plan the bachelorette party. Okay, here we go, bachelorette party. So we're gonna have Teresa, and then guests will have all of the girls. So Teresa, Chris, uh, Barbie, Christy, Midge, Skipper can come, why not? There we go, perfect, perfect. And then we also need a private dancer, of course we do. I mean, he looks all right, doesn't he? He could fit the bill, we'll get him involved. We'll hire for the role. I mean, we don't really need to because I plan on hosting this event at the club. Should we go to the Haunted Church nightclub? Why not? It's good to do something different on your bachelorette party, so we're gonna do that. I would love to have had my hen do at a haunted church nightclub. Really, Barbie? That's what you're wearing? I didn't even ask her to wear that. You just have to upstage everyone, don't you? You can't just let it be Teresa's night, can you? No. All right, well, let's get this party started, I guess. I'll just quickly show you the church. Um, one thing I know is that I certainly did not build this. Uh, I would have got it from the gallery, so I'll put the details on the screen now if you'd like to download it yourselves. Otherwise, let's have a bachelorette party. Right, girls, let's get in this club. Spooky themed bachelorette party, here we come. Okay, Barbie, I think you should order some drinks for everybody. Or get a drink for the bride-to-be, get Teresa a drink. Yeah, get one for the bride. <laughs> It's not a hen party if we don't get her trashed, so that's what we're going to go for. Now, seeing as Teresa is the bride, I'm going to switch to her for a sec. Because I think it's only right that she has her best friends as the, uh, the bridesmaids. So we're going to have a little chat about wedding stuff, joke about exes. That would be quite funny, wouldn't it? What with uh, both their history. Of course, Teresa has absolutely no idea that Barbie has been having a secret fling with her fiance. In fact, I wonder if Teresa starts gushing about her partner, I wonder if that would make Barbie angry. Yep, ask her to be in the wedding party. We want Barbie, Christy and Midge to be our bridesmaids. Okay, the music's pumping, we've all had a drink. I think it's time we got our strip dance. Here's our stripper, so ask for private dance. And I'd be surprised if Teresa is the only one who gets a private dance. Knowing Barbie, she's probably going to insist on getting a private dance also. Wait, where are you going, man? I want to see this. Oh, oh. Well, Teresa, then. <laughs> that, that was your private dance. That was like two seconds long. No, I'm not having that. You're going to have to do it again. You're being paid. You're being paid by the hour. You're not just going to do a little hip shake and then say you're done, all right? We don't even need to buy you a drink. We're on paid full time right now. Get that shirt back off. Barbie will get another show. Don't worry about it. Barbie's a bit more confrontational and confident than Teresa is. That's why she's quite handy to have on a night out, you know. She doesn't mind being the one to have a word. There we go. There we go, Teresa. Look, enjoy. Enjoy. That's all for you, babe. That is all for you. Right, Barbie, I think you need to order some more drinks. And Teresa, I think you should ask the other two girls to be part of your wedding party. We need them to be bridesmaids as well. Asked to be in wedding party. Midge needs to be asked to be in the wedding party as well. 
Christy's wondering if that means she can be maid of honor. I mean, don't, don't jump ahead there, Christy. I think Barbie's probably going to be maid of honor, but it's cute that you think that. So, right, guys, let's get the drinks in. Let's show some moves. I think Barbie probably has a few moves to show herself. So why don't you show off your pump pop? Go on, Barbie. Show the other girls how it's done. Show them how you be the star of the show. Show them how you go to a bachelorette party and make it all about yourself. Yeah. That's right, people. Gather round. Gather round and watch. That is one redeeming thing about Barbie. Is that she knows she's a star, you know? She, this girl has got no problems with self-esteem. Not at all. If anything, I'd say perhaps it's more the other way. She thinks she's too good for everyone and everything. Jesus, it's like 12 a.m. already. How did it get to that point? Well, then, I think let's have a couple more drinks. And then we'll call it a night because um, our bride needs to get some uh, beauty sleep. Ready for the big day tomorrow. That's it, Teresa, come get the drinks. Barbie, there's a drink right there for you, my love. Oh, no, I think that's Midge's drink, isn't it? Well, Teresa, I hope you've had a great time. I hope you enjoyed your striptease. I hope you enjoyed your bachelorette party. The main thing is you've got yourself some bridesmaids. Oh, she, Teresa's making the most of whatever time she has left. She quickly, as it was starting to flash red, Teresa quickly ran up to the stripper and was like, quick, give me a striptease. She's a smart girl, definitely a bright one. How long do we have left? Four minutes. Four minutes until it's over. And it's over. Well, on that note, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I think Barbie needs to take Teresa home so she can get some beauty sleep ready for the big day tomorrow. And in case you haven't guessed, the next episode will be Teresa and Cole's wedding, which I'm sure will go by without a hitch and will be a great time for everyone involved with no drama. So, looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.